Hello, Kevin Richards here with Thomas All Things Automotive. Today I want to show you a really good looking 2015 GMC Sierra 1500. Uh, it's in beautiful ocean blue. Uh, it is an SLE. Uh, excuse me, actually it's a work truck. My apologies. Uh, but it's still, even on the, the base model, you, you still get a nice chrome lower bumper valiance. You get a chrome grille. Uh, you do still have high intensity headlights. No fog lights in this case. Uh, you do have a, uh, a chrome cover on the steel wheel here. Uh, also, as you can see, you have a Bridgestone Dueler, very meaty tire, about 830 seconds, light new tire, uh, resurfaced pad and rotor. We do a used car mechanical check on all of our vehicles prior to delivery. So the customers know the mechanical integrity. That check or report can be found, signed by the technician that did the work uh, in the glove box of every one of our vehicles. It's just our way of being fully transparent, both on price and the way we recondition our cars. Uh, looking right now at the passenger side front, and you can see you have a 40-20-40 with a fold-down center console. Uh, you have a manual adjustment on the passenger seat. It's a light gray cloth interior with a dark charcoal carpeting. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you, since it is a crew cab model, you have all kinds of room here in the back. One thing you may notice on this base series, you do have, uh, uh, excuse me, I said vinyl, uh, black carpeting. It's actually a vinyl floor texture. Uh, misspoke there, but... Uh, you know, it's nice for if you have work boots or if you have uh, kids and there's some slop. Uh, it's nice that things can be spilled and right, wiped right back up that vinyl flooring. But you do have cloth interior. It's not vinyl interior. It's just the vinyl flooring. Uh, and as you can see, the doors open nice and wide. You have all kinds of leg, hip, and shoulder room for your rear occupants. Uh, even though it's a base truck, like I say, you've not only have the chrome wheels, you've got the, uh, the chrome uh, step bars. Uh, you do have Chef, uh, GMC's big box on this truck, your six and a half foot bed. Uh, if you walk around here to the back, you can see you have the step up bumper. You have a class three hitch. You do have a rear backup camera as well, which is nice if you're hooking up to that hitch. You have factory uh, seven way round and four way flat connectivity uh, already put right in there. Um, put the tailgate down just so you can see that there is a, a drop-in liner on the bed. It is a GM drop-in liner from factory, so you do have some bed protection there. Um, working our way around here to the uh, driver's side, primarily again want to show you that you do still have matching wheels on both sides, Bridgestone Dueler tires, nice meaty tread. Uh, these trucks, it's a 5.3 liter on this truck, so the fuel economy is good, uh, pretty decent. Uh, you know, you're going to get about 17 you know, 16, 17 uh, average mile per gallon on this truck. Kind of what you expect with a standard V8 and any of the domestic vehicles. Just took a look at the rear from the driver's side. Now we're going to take a look at the front from the driver's side. Again, on this base series, you do just have a manual adjustment on the driver and passenger seats. Um, but there are still some amenities in here that I'd like to go over with you. Kind of give you an idea of what it's like to be behind the cockpit of this truck behind the wheels so go ahead and start it up let you listen to it kind of show you where some of the controls are start here on the door where you have your power windows locks uh, and uh, switches right there and uh, as you can see you do have the uh, tow mirror here uh, on a manual adjustment uh, so you do have tow mirrors if need be. Here's your electronic integrated brake controller. Uh, so that's a nice feature as well. Uh, you do have automatic headlamps on this truck, which is still also a nice feature for the, for the base model. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it up so you can see the mileage. I think this truck just crested 20,000 miles. There you'll see it, 20,272 miles. As you can see, we'll turn the uh, headlamps on here so you have a little bit of a display and get that there you go, dimmer switch, so you can see what it looks like at night. Um, also, uh, want to kind of go over the controls. You do have uh, cruise control here on the steering wheel, as well as a stem switch that's going to operate your turn signals and your wipe, wiper washers. Uh, over on the side is a, uh, a column shift. You do have a manual gear selector here on the side, so you can select any of the gears you prefer. And you do have a tow haul method, which changes the shift points. Uh, just the basic radio here in the center console. Uh, but you do have uh, AM FM radio, so uh, you know if you need, uh, you know, can program all your stations in there. Uh, there's your radio controls down below uh, if you need it. Um, you know, there's your audio and your settings button at the home menu. Uh, here's your climate control down below that. You also have a traction control button here and a cargo light feature. Uh, if you can see on the key here, you do have a keyless fob. Uh, we do have two sets of keys, as you can see there, so uh, 
Just give you kind of look at the console in here as you can see. Even on the base truck, I don't know if you can get enough lighting there, but you do have USB ports, you do have auxiliary uh, uh, inputs, you do have a 12 volt power supply. So you don't lose any connectivity uh, on, the, on the basic model truck here. Um, you do have LED lighting up above. Uh, so, you know, just a nice clean truck uh, for truck's sake, can do everything you would need. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood here and, and show you what it looks like underneath the hood. Uh, it's right dead center underneath the steering wheel, if you could see that. Like I said before, this is a 5.3 liter V8. Tried to show you it in a lot of their vehicles, including many of their trucks. Uh, but as you can see there, uh, nice clean engine compartment, low mileage, 2015, what you would expect. But we do want you to be able to hear how quiet it is. You hear it's free of any exhaust leaks. Maybe even see that it's free of any uh, oil leaks. Um, well maintained. Uh, well operating engine. Shut the engine off. We'll do a quick walk around this vehicle again. This time when we go around, uh, also wanted to tell you back to the gas mileage. Actually, uh, on the trip, it looks like the last person just got 21 and a half mile a gallon on the trip. So uh, you get this thing out on the highway, it'll get you over 20 mile a gallon. But this next portion of the vi uh, video, we're just going to walk around showing minor imperfections the vehicle may have. It is used, uh, so you can expect some. Like I say, it's very pretty ocean blue, uh, but it will show any nicks or imperfections it may have. So if I see them, I'll point them out to you. Looks like we got a small little scratch right down there and a couple small stone chips there and there. That would be the uh, driver's side rear door. One stone chip, two, three, right there by the gas door. Little uh, half moon type scratch, maybe about two inches total right there. It's actually a piece of lint. Uh, working our way around the back. Sorry, it's a little dark back here. We have a lighting, lighting problem, but uh, uh, just some lint there as well. Looks like tailgate's good. The only thing I would say about tailgate, if you kind of get a shot across the top there, it has a uh, plastic tailgate protective cover. It's done a good job of protecting the tailgate, but it does have a couple little nicks in it. Um, that's what it's there for. We're going to weigh up the uh, passenger side bed side. Looks like we got two stone chips there and there. Uh, no dents to speak of. Truck's nice and straight. Clean audit fax history or car fax history report. Uh, one owner. Shows no sign of prior paint work. All the body lines are nice, straight, and clean. Looks like another little chip right there on the fender. And I know we can always find a couple here. Uh, two right there. Little cluster of three right there. A few more across the top. A few more over on this side. Uh, the hood's always going to catch the most. Got a couple little cluster right there. Across the lower valiance here, it looks pretty clean. So, no dents, clean auto check history, one owner, no paintwork. Uh, just a couple stone chips is the only thing. A few very small scratches is all I could find. Excellent value with this truck, really, for what you get and what the price tag is. It's really a great value over new. Um, especially for a crew cab on bed truck, uh, you know, what you're going to be looking to, to do with a truck you can do with this particular model. Uh, one last thing before we close out the video, just want to let you know, uh, GMC's three-year 36,000 mile comprehensive warranty as well as their five-year 60,000 mile transmission warranty, engine and transmission warranty is transferable to the next owner, so uh, you would inherit that uh, if you purchase this vehicle. And so, you know, I urge you to come out and take a look at it between the look and the price, it won't last long. Uh, you can contact us a couple different ways, either via phone at 717-485-4224 or look us up on the web at www.thomasata.com. Again, my name is Kevin and thanks for your time.